Hello all, Project Wargaming here with a video on an update on uh, the 2mm Napoleonic troops. So, been able to get uh, infantry and artillery uh, painted up and then also was able to uh, base them. So, just showing off uh, kind of what a base looks like for the game Blucher. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> seems like uh, most of the French uh, brigades were made up of two regiments. And so you can see I have regiments set out. A lot of times they had three or four battalions each. Um, so little four battalions was going to be a little tight. So I went ahead and just put uh, uh, three on one side and two on the other. Um, you can see some of these bases. I've actually put three on each. Um, and then, of course... Uh, What's really cool is we have magnetized this little back strip here and it allows us to put the info that we need on there and it doesn't fall off. And then we can keep track of a lawn by just uh, placing beads on there. So um, these are somewhat based off of the cars that you get. Obviously, the infantry look a little bit different. Uh, artillery are very similar to what you get in cards. Um, so six cannon across there. I actually didn't paint it up uh, enough ca caissons. So just have some caissons in the back. Um, and some of these actually have only five uh, cannon on there, artillery pieces. So, um, but I have I painted up way more uh, artillery pieces than I I realized, and so I have plenty. I have almost eleven bases of artillery compared to like only six uh, or so. Well, I have more of that. I have probably 10 bases of infantry so far. So way more uh, infantry need to be painted up. Um, and then the other thing that I've uh, kind of been experimenting with is these are my uh, Italian buildings that I modeled. And what I've been doing is putting them on basically a 40 by 40 base and then shrinking them down by half uh, and then kind of mixing and matching to make it look like this is a build-up area. And it works really well because um, when it comes time, you can just simply uh, set your base on top of there. Uh, and it, you know, they they set pretty, pretty nicely. You don't have to worry about them being completely off kilter. Obviously, the church is a little bit bigger than 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 most. I have been experimenting more with these uh, back and forth. This was another one. It just looks a little too small for me as far as uh, just being compared to, you know, an infantry base. Um, I don't know. I do kind of like the like look of that. That definitely gives you like a, an urban feel. Um, this does too. So maybe someplace in between. But uh, what you could do is, since these are on 44, 40 by 40 bases, and we're using 80 by 80 bases uh, as our, uh, well, 80, 80 millimeter as our uh, base width, this is an 80 by 80 base, and so you could shrink it down by half if you wanted and then put just lots of the, the bases out there. So um, just experimenting with it. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to go with it yet, but uh, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's what I've been working on. So very happy with how this stuff is turning out. Uh, I need to paint up uh, Calvary, which, you know, is the bane of my existence always. Calvary just... Uh, drives me nuts to paint. Um, so I have to figure out a, a fast way to do that. I think I need to just uh, base coat those guys all brown uh, because the majority of the model is the um, uh, horse and then paint uh, Calvary up from there. And of course, you all know that Napoleonic Calvary is like every color of the rainbow. So um, for every single nation, it seems like. So um, tons of possibilities there. But, but that's it. We'll talk to you later.